I'm just like, it's so cute. <laughs> I just got a little teary eyed thinking about how happy I am, but this is my life. Hey, I've made it to Tallinn, Estonia, and I'm just so excited to be here. Already I'm in love with this town. It is so cute. Over here in like the old town area, all the buildings are all these pretty pastel colors, and they're so old with all of these like carvings and stuff, and the doors are beautiful, and it's just so quaint and adorable. I love it. If you watched my last vlog, I'm actually staying in Helsinki, but I took a two and a half hour ferry to Estonia across the Baltic Sea. It was a nice smooth ride. It went pretty fast. I took the Viking cruise line and it cost me, I think about 19 euro. I'll put the amount on the screen and that's for round trip. So it's a pretty good deal. And it was like a full on cruise ship too. There's restaurants, bars, shopping, gambling, whatever you want. So. I just sat and listened to my audiobook the whole time though, but look at this market square. It's so cute. I'm just gonna wander around. It is, I think, starting to rain, unfortunately, but I am just excited to be here. I found what might be the cutest McDonald's in the world right next to a flower market, which was a little odd considering the weather, but it was really pretty. Okay, I decided I needed to sit and eat the sandwich I brought and kind of get my bearings. I'm just kind of wandering around, don't really know where I am or where I'm going. I have a few things marked on the map that I want to see, but otherwise, just kind of wander, take photos. I wish it wasn't so cloudy, but oh man, the city is so adorable. Tallinn is the capital of Estonia and it's an old walled city, the old town part, and a lot of the walls still stand and it's just so cool to explore around here. I love it. Okay, I've wandered a little and just happened to go by the bookstore that I had marked to get my Estonian Harry Potter. If you don't know or if you haven't watched my other videos from like Barcelona and stuff, I always get a Harry Potter in the language of the country that I visit. I got the first one this time because Helsinki was my seventh country, so this is my eighth country, so I'm starting over at one. I haven't gotten the finished edition yet just because I haven't had a chance to, but I'm gonna get the seventh one there. Unfortunately, the seventh one is obviously gigantic and I've already seen it because I already went into a bookstore and looked at it, but I just didn't buy it. And I don't know how I'm going to be able to pack it, but we'll get over that hurdle. Next, I climbed some stairs to the Danish King's Garden, which had really great views. I just got a little teary-eyed thinking about how happy I am, but this is my life. I can't believe I'm just here in front of this beautiful church, enjoying this gorgeous city, and just living my life the way I want to. It's just so amazing. Subscribe for more frizzy-haired, emotional videos from all over the world, I guess. got some goodies this little quiche thing I think it was three euros and then this Danish I think was about like four four fifty I wasn't really paying attention but I'm gonna need the energy to climb up all these stairs to this hopefully really good viewpoint
every time I turn the corner, I'm just like, it's so cute. <laughs> oh my God, the city, I swear I'm in love. It started to drizzle a little and I popped into a church and just sat there for like an hour, mostly just to kill time. And also I'm super tired, my legs hurt. I've walked over seven miles today. It's four o'clock. Um, the ferry leaves at 5.30, but you're supposed to get there I think at least 20 minutes early, but I'm gonna get there like an hour early probably. It's only like a 20 minute walk. I definitely, definitely enjoyed Tallinn. It was such a magical city. I just went through like the old town, so can't really speak to the rest of it, I guess. But it was amazing. Okay, I have made it back to the ship. I'm just gonna chill like last time and listen to my audiobook. Unfortunately, I don't get back to Helsinki until 10. Obviously, my math here was super off. I actually got back to Helsinki at eight o'clock. I'm gonna hopefully get on a tram or something so I don't have to walk the whole way back in the dark by myself. Um, I didn't say earlier, but there's actually, I think, three different cruise lines that you can book or ferries, I guess. Um, one of them is the Viking line, which is what I did. It's the least expensive. It takes a little bit longer. I think it's two and a half hours as opposed to like two hours with the other ones, but pretty good deal. Only, like I said earlier, I think 19 or so euros. A lot of people in Helsinki commute back and forth between the cities in Tallinn. Alcohol is cheaper, so on the weekend they can go there and drink and also apparently bring some back because I saw a lot of people with little dollies or like just cartons of like beer and stuff when we were boarding the ship. This is gonna be the end of the vlog. I hope you enjoy coming along with me on my beautiful day here in Tallinn. The weather wasn't great and I had trouble getting photos because it was so dark because of the clouds, but overall it's a gorgeous place and I definitely suggest coming and visiting. Hopefully you learned something about the city and about ferrying there from Helsinki. If you're gonna be in Helsinki, I definitely suggest doing a day trip here. I think that's gonna be it. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Watching. Bye. Tallinn, or maybe it's Talon, I don't know. Tallinn, or it might be pronounced Talon, I'm honestly not sure. Definitely enjoyed Talon. Tallinn. Tallinn.